Someone's got it. Someone's got it. I'm gonna keep it low. It's fighting. Fighting good. What is going on everybody? We are back at it today and I am doing a little bit of a test run. I just pulled out the uh, Exo Bio, or the Biospawn, excuse me, the Biospawn Bio Bug. And uh, I've never used this lure, so we're gonna be putting it to the test today. I got the Alabama Craw color on. So uh, I got a few other colors, but this is the only one I brought with me. We're gonna give it a try today. Like I said, I've never used this lure before. I got it rigged up on a uh, Guggenbait hammer hook with a quarter ounce uh, lure and some 40 pound braid so that is what we're working with let's go ahead and give it a shot and uh, see if we catch some fish on this vile bug for the first time ever the vile bug is on guys it's a pretty cool little bug it's by catch co well like carl's carl's baits catch co guggen they're all kind of the same This thing swims pretty neat. It's kind of like a beaver tail. I wish it kicked the legs a little bit more. I like my baits to kind of kick their legs. It's actually got one leg already beat up, so durability factor is a little off. That's why I like testing out stuff. Right under the tree. Good pitch. Big old carp right there. like the light finesse today, huh? Very slow, very simple. Thought I felt a little tug. Literally a little tug. Look how dark that bass is though. Definitely uh, one of those days where they're hiding up in the shade. Got them real good in the nostril area. Solid hooks, these Guggen hammer hooks. Tiny little dink. And back he goes. Kind of destroyed this little thing, but uh, still got one flipper. And uh, it's got one. Should be enough to make it work. All right. Some shade right here. Try to hit that tree over there. Tickled the line a little bit, let it get underneath the, the grass because I only have a quarter ounce weight on there. No way I'm going to be able to get through this grass over here with a quarter ounce, but we'll try it by doing that first, aka giving us massive backlash. So the only way to test out a new line is to give it backlash. Oh 
All right, so I'm gonna swap this out real quick to a heavier, uh, heavier weight so we can kind of get through this thick. Save the weight. Go through, pull it tight. Didn't take too long either. Only took a mi what, two minutes. Now we can at least get through some of this thick. Yeah, because there's something underneath there. That's why you get through the thick, guys. Just like that. Just like that. First cast. First cast, man. Come on. Let me look cool. First cast with the new one, with the new half ounce weight. Killing it. All right, guys. First cast with the half ounce weight. Straight through that thick patch over there. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta change it up. That's why I always bring a bunch of terminal with me. You never know uh, what you're gonna need. So, got that guy out of there. Let's get this hook out of his roof of his mouth. He got it good. He didn't think that uh, he was gonna be chowing down on someone's lure. Oof. And these hammer hooks there. Hard to get out, but that's good for me, right? There we go, guys, fish number two. It's the bigger one of the day. So let's get him back in the water. Call you Lucy. See you later, Lucy. All right, guys, that is our vile bug. And uh, we have the half ounce weight, 40 pound braid, working it pretty good. I like it, it's got those little bridges uh, here in the center, helps it fall down, keeps the tail kicking upward. I really like that in creature baits. Gives it a lot of motion, makes it really cool. The bass definitely, first thing they're gonna see is those tails kicking. Looks like a frog kinda going deep in the water or a water bug, something like that. So let's keep it going, guys. Let my line lay down so it sinks back. You can see the line going over there, so you know it's going back under the water. Give it a few more casts, and then probably call it. Someone got it. Yeah, someone's got it. Someone's got it. I'm gonna keep it low. Fighting. Fighting good. And we got some thick, thick grass to bring it through. This is why I bring that 40 pound braid. People question why. Why do I use that strong braid? That's exactly why. Keep that tension on the line the entire time. Kill them. Look at that. Another one, man. Look at all that grass we pulled out with it. And that, all that grass right there. And that big old bass right there. Two pound bass hiding in that thick grass. That's exactly why I use the 40 pound braid. Barely hooked him, barely kept him on there. This is definitely a fish that doesn't get caught very often. You can see in his lips, he does not have a uh, very many marks awesome fish we need more like this hopefully we can get another one these vile bugs look at all that grass guys vile bug putting in work real chunky bass real nice one pulling out of that real thick it's exactly what we came here for test out these uh vile bugs put that half ounce weight we're pulling pigs out of the grass man that's what it's about Whew. Get you back in the water. It's the fun one of the day. There it goes. Back into the thick. Alright guys. 
this back at it. See if we can keep producing. Oh, something smacked it. Oh, no way. Broke me off. Our vile bugs. Something's sitting on it. There we go. Not a big one. But not a small one either. Another grass bass. There you go, buddy. Knock it off for me. Ooh. Real close to the eye. Hopefully I can get that out without uh, hurting you any. Well. There's number, whatever he was for. Oof, jumping a little bit because we got him in the eye. I think we saved it, but I'm not exactly sure. Oh, oh, something got me moving. I was walking it, something came and smacked it. Oh, I hit it really slowly. Look at that. Another nice one. Man. It's a good day to come out here, I guess. Barely hooked him. Just barely on the lip. Another nice one, man. Not huge, but uh, they'll do. Alrighty, buddy. Let's get you back in the water. Oh. Alright, guys. That is going to do it for today. It was a successful trip with the uh, little vial, vial bug by uh, Biospawn. Pretty cool little lure. I really like them. They remind me of like the uh, Guggenbaits Bandito bug. So if you like lures like that, pretty cool little lure. Uh, definitely has a good scent. Has its own unique features with that little built-in bridge system. It helps it sink a little bit faster. Help you dip. Uh, dip it in a scent and give it a nice little boost to the lure. I mean, there's plenty of things you can do with it, but I really like them. That's all I wanted to really kind of conclude. And I mean, we caught plenty of fish on them today. So that's always a fun thing. Always a successful day, especially when you end up uh, with bass thumb like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully uh, you guys got an idea of what these lures can do for you. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.